And now we're going to uninstall the satellite. Oh, man, no. How will he ever get his TV? I don't HBO, know. no. I changed the we music because it's the um, same one we've heard before. And I think this is more appropriate for a deadly tower of bouncy heads. I guess. <laughs> There's two things I wanted to show off here. The first is you can't go in upside down. And the second is that the L tank doesn't fully refill your health. Which is weird because you don't you wouldn't notice the L tank thing because in the normal game you can't get damaged in Proto 4. Because it's all instant death. Oh hey, look, it's Dark Man 2. So apparently it only fills your health back to what you entered in the room with? Yeah. So oh, we're gonna wow. fill it up all the way and then we'll fight my favorite boss in the game. Oh that's right, he boss rush mode. Yeah. Basically he uses an attack from each of the robot or five of the robot masters. But he does it differently, like you see uh, Crystal Man's turrets sit on the ceiling. Or Gyro Man's swoop, which comes out instantly. And he even uh. he even steals from Proto Man and does he kinda nudges towards you until you shoot at him. But this is definitely my favorite boss in the entire game. This is really oh, interesting. Yeah, that, that but I will say thing. I absolutely hate Charge Man, and did he even use Rabbit Man? Uh, no, he actually doesn't have Wave, Gravity, or Star, and he's immune to all their weapons. But was... he... Oh no, Japanese text. Nah, we, we don't need that. And he's also weak to uh, Power Stone and Crystal Eye. Oh, so next oh. time, it's the Wily stages. So if you kick a Power Stone into a robot, especially a robot that transforms into multiple types of robots, you will instantly kill it. Good trivia. <laughs> Indeed. Brock's fall, everyone dies.